Hey guys. Uh, so my name is Leslie. I was just going to do a really quick video to kind of um, describe my experience so far being a ship shopper. I'm going three months in and I've got about 100 shops underneath my belt. I'm at a 4.9% rating, 100% on time, and uh, my acceptance rating is 85%. They want you around 90, so I'm a little short there, but I can tell you the main issue is that I'll put myself on the schedule the night before, and I'll get the offer for an eight o'clock shop around six o'clock. So sometimes I just don't hear it ping it's all the way up and I just miss it. So it is what it is. I really haven't um, declined on any orders past anybody up. The only person I've ever declined, um, there was one, it was my second shop I was ever offered and it was a 10 o'clock target run. And the drop off site was to an area that I personally know is not good. <laughs> I live in Jacksonville, Florida, and there are some areas that I will not visit past dark. I mean, honestly, you have areas in Jacksonville, you're going to get shot in the middle of daylight at a football game. So, doesn't really matter. There is no safe time here <laughs> or anywhere probably in the world. <laughs> um, so, side note past that. Um, I would say that out of almost 100 shops, I've had... Pretty good experience, I'd say. If I had to rate my time with shipped, I'd give it an A. Not really an A plus, but an A. Um, I can tell you the training online is great once you get started. The online community is pretty good. You know, I also do Uber Eats and Postmates, and I can tell you the thing that I appreciate is that the shipped lounge on Facebook, I would say, is about 90% positive. It's really good to go on there. You can see questions that other people have, get feedback, learn from other people, or post stuff on there if you want. And I would say the overall take from it is going to be positive. Uber Eats and Postmates on Facebook is just terrible. I mean, I don't understand why people feel the need to destroy people that you don't know. I mean, what's the point? People might not like me in this video too. Totally cool. I'm just giving uh, some feedback and you can take it or leave it. So I'm just basically sharing my experiences from Jacksonville, Florida in case it helps you in any way. Um, right now I could say that I'm not over 100 shops yet because it is the summer and I would say that there's an um, increased amount of shoppers in my general area. I would say that probably a lot of teachers who are on summer break are making extra money right now. So I've kind of taken this time to step back and just hang out with my family and enjoy time with them. Uh, if I could give one tip, I would say for me the thing that works the best after I finish a shop I always send a follow-up text, but I also don't have regular members, so a lot of shoppers won't do this, especially if, you know, they're member matched. Uh, they don't really have to. You know, they have such a good rapport with a shopper, and, you know, they exchange words or conversation, whatever, um, at the end of, while they're dropping off groceries, and that's great. But this is just me because I'm not member matched with anybody to my knowledge. Um, if you don't know what member matching is, that's basically where you have the opportunity to shop for someone on a regular basis. And you know, um, you probably get more tips and everything because they know what they're gonna get. And it's, it's probably a great thing, but my husband is always on call and I have a toddler, so I can't really put myself on a schedule. If he tells me he's like seventh out, then I could be like, cool, you know, maybe I could work until lunchtime. Maybe I'll get an order or two. So that's just kind of how we operate. I know a lot of other shoppers are member matched galore because they have a set schedule. And I think it would be great if I could get to where I could work shift full time during daytime hours. That would be great. But, you know, 
with me not being member matched, it's just not really a possibility. Anyways, I don't wanna make this video a million minutes long. Uh, so moving on, if I had to say one thing that could be improved, which I don't think this video is ever gonna go anywhere, but if somehow anybody from Shift in a reasonably higher position ever sees this, it would be great that if you ask a shopper, I'm gonna give a specific example here. So you want me to go to a Target on Monument, which is 20 minutes from my home, and shop a shop and deliver to somebody past Ocean Way, which is on the north side, and their home is 25 minute drive from the store, I, I honestly think if you're gonna have a radius around the store that, that is that large, you need to compensate more because we're not guaranteed that we're gonna get a tip. So shoppers are driving to the store and then they're shopping and driving sometimes 25 plus minutes to another location. Now, most of the time people want their groceries during rush hour traffic. So that 25 minute job that I just said would end up taking 40 minutes in our traffic. So I think if you want shoppers to drive more than 10 miles from the store with the order, I think there should be additional compensation because it's just, it takes so much time and wear and tear on your car. It's just not fair to make $6 usually on an order that is going to take so much time. So I think that's my only my only complaint about shipped. If you want an order to be picked up before it goes on the metro board and pile up so many promos, then have um, a parameter on your your earnings if you're asking somebody to drive over 10 miles from the store, give them, give them like 50 cents a mile or something past a certain point. You know, it's, it's just, it's hard. Anyways, moving on. That's my only tip. <laughs> uh, feel free to send me questions. If you're in the Jacksonville area, you know, let me know what your particular areas like is it busy right now is it not busy is it just my area that's really slow um, if you're a new shopper do you have any questions that I might be able to help you with uh, do you want more tips or you know whatever just let me know hope you guys have a good day and that you maybe learned something helpful from this video